My name is Daniel, a product specialist with StreamStar. Today, I will guide you through StreamStar's audio features as well as teach you how to bring an external audio source into the system. Each StreamStar system or software has a fully functional audio mixer built in with all the standard audio for video mixer interface elements. There are faders and controls for each camera input, as well as a media, aux in, line out, headphones, and a stereo program out faders. Each fader has integrated level and peaking indicators, as well as controls for audio follow video, solo, and mute. There are a number of ways to bring audio in for your production. The first would be via embedded audio with your camera or video input, either through SDI, HDMI, NDI, or through a web stream. Embedded audio means that whatever audio is connected to your camera or video input device will be embedded with a video signal and travel down the connection to the StreamStar audio mixer. This allows you to plug in a mic or even a mixer to your camera and the audio will be available via that input's fader. You can also bring in an audio source via the aux in from a USB audio device. Utilizing the aux in connection is an excellent way to add audio to your production from an external audio mixer. A number of audio mixers on the market today have USB digital outputs and allow you to connect traditional analog sources, mix them and output via USB to the StreamStar system. There are also a number of devices on the market that will convert a single analog signal to digital USB. To set up the aux in, start your system in Microsoft Windows and plug in the USB audio device. You will see that Windows recognized the device and installed drivers directly from the device. Now, go to Windows Control Panel, Hardware and Sound, Manage Audio Devices, and finally, the Record tab. Then select the USB device. You can now test the device and see the audio levels on the indicator. Now, launch the StreamStar application, click the gear icon, and then the audio gear icon. This takes you into the audio preferences or you can use the Oxen drop-down menu to select the USB device for the Oxen channel. You can also adjust the delay to sync with your video. Back in the audio tab, the Oxen fader will now become active and you can adjust the levels as needed. Looking at the controls on each fader, engaging the audio follow video tells the system to only turn on that channel of audio when the input is on program. The mute button will mute the channel of audio so that you can set your level with the fader and simply mute and unmute the channel as needed. Engaging the solo button will isolate the channel's audio to the headphones channel for monitoring any signals before they go to air. The headphones and line out need to be configured via Windows. After setting that up in Windows, start the StreamStar application and go into the settings and then audio preference settings. With a drop down, select which Windows device the StreamStar will use for the headphones and line out. Once selected, the line out and the headphones fader will become active in the audio tab. Now, with the headphones active, you can solo audio channels and listen to your program audio mix. With a line out, you can feed audio to a separate device and adjust the level independently of the main program audio mix. The main program audio mix controls the levels of the internal program record, web stream, and outputs of the system. You can lock the left and right faders together or unlock them to adjust them separately. Finally, the media fader controls audio level for any media that is played from StreamStar's internal media player. This includes playlists. As you can see, as with everything in StreamStar, operating the audio features and bringing in an external audio source is simple and easy. To learn more about StreamStar and watch our other videos, please visit our website at streamstar.com. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.